Hello, and welcome to Global Cars Review Channel for a review of the Real Race 4 Pack from the Carnival Cup line, which is an offshoot of the Transcontinental Race of Champions series. This is the Real Race 4 Pack. It contains, and I'll show you what it contains in a minute, it's a nice picture of Lightning McQueen on the side and the Daredevil Garage app, and that's the front. Now let's take a look at the back. Here is the back, as you could see. Um, it's the Real Race 4 pack, and it has Lightning McQueen, Carlo Veloso, Jeff Corvette, and Raul Sarul carnival versions. The description up there that you can pause and read if you would like. And at the bottom, you can look for more carnival racers, such as Francesco Bernoulli, who I don't have yet, and Shoot Hatch Rocky, who, have already, who, have, who I have already reviewed, and I will put the link to that in my description. And so now let's get into Lightning McQueen. So here is Carnival Lightning McQueen. If you just look at the front, there's not really too many differences here. Um, there's not that much. Y you can't really see it from the front. But if you turn it to the side, you can start to see the differences. For one thing, he has orange tires, which I'm not too big of a fan of. Um, it's not the best. And if you bring it closer, you can see that he has glitter on a stripe, and that glitter is actually texturized, which is uh, a good job by Mattel. He has a shiny 95 with Lightning McQueen above it. I don't know if that's focusing. There we go. And it has some Carnival Cup and Transcontinental Race of Champions decals. The spoiler, he has a shiny 95. And on top of the spoiler, it says Carnival Cup. And he has a shiny 95 with a maroon color on his roof. And the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup decals have changed. It used to be lighter, now it's more dark and there's a white flame around it. On the back, it has some more Carnival Cup decals. It says Carnival Cup right there. I'm trying to get it to focus for you with the American flag, the Carnival Cup logo, and the Lightning McQueen signature. The other side is the same as the other one. Um, same decals and everything. And that's basically it for Lightning McQueen. Next up is the host of the race, Carla Veloso. Now here's Carla compared to her original release as a World Grand Prix racer. Now you can see the main difference is the color. Carnival is a lighter shade of green and if you look at the front you can see the decals are different. There are way more designs on the original than the Carnival Cup and you can see the Carnival Cup logo is really enlarged on her hood there and there are fewer designs and swirls. Sides are different. Carnival Cup has Carnival Cup and T-Rock decals, as well as a nice shiny 8 and Veloso. And up here, uh, right next to the window, it has the Brazilian flag that says CV, obviously standing for Carl Veloso, and a nice shiny 8 on the spoiler. The spoiler says Carnival Cup. And there's nothing much on the back. The back is the same as the regular version. And as you can see, she has yellow tires. And the other side is the same as uh, the first side. So that's Carla Veloso. Next up is Jeff Gorvet. Here's Jeff. And when you compare the two... Again, head on, not, you can't really see many differences, but when you look at it from the top, you start to see more differences. For example, the spoiler on Jeff is blue and it says Carnival Cup and sort of black saying World Grand Prix, and the top is blue rather than yellow and it has a shiny 24. The sides are different too, although it still has that primary uh, American flag. Carnival Cup and T-Rock decals on the Carnival Cup one, as well as it has 24 with the name Gorvette above it. And next to the window has the American flag and it says 
JG. I don't know. That's not really focusing for you. Spoiler, it says 24. It says Carnival Cup. And one thing that RC Crush 5 pointed out in his review is that why are they still powered by All in All? All in All was supposed to die with Cars 2. Of course, it says Carnival Cup with the American flag and the Carnival Cup logo with the All in All logo. He has blue tires where the normal one has black. And he isn't my favorite because he doesn't really change a lot. He still has most of his original decals. And now to the last racer, the most exclusive racer. It's the first look at Carnival Raul Cerule. Not many changes with this guy. Um, but I do like how that GRC is silver now. He has red tires in the front and blue in the back. Cerule 6, and you can see that GRC with a really nice shiny 6 on the spoiler. Carnival Cup and T-Rock decals. On the back, it's more powered by all in all. I don't know why it has that. And the French flag and Carnival Cup decals, decals and the words Carnival Cup. On the top, it's more, the spoiler is red with the blue Carnival Cup. And it's more of a navy blue on the top. And here's the comparison of this guy compared to his normal version. And the normal version is more of a light blue some like paint everywhere and you can see the difference spoilers are different and the sides are very different so let me get all our racers for the carnival cup on stage here there's Raul Sarul White Name McQueen Carla and here comes Jeff over on the side and I have re and I reviewed shoe earlier, so make sure to check out that video. It'll be in the description. And thank you for watching. And my new channel, which will have the link for that in the description, is called uh, Global Cars Geography, where I will pick a country and then show the cars from that country, and I'll give you interesting facts about that country. So if I pick Germany, I'd show Max Schnell, Audubon, and maybe some Max Schnell fans, and then I'd do some, uh, excite, point out where it is, and give you some exciting facts. So be sure to check that out. See you next time on Global Cars Review Channel.